Paper Dance Jigsaw Puzzles. We are on Puzzle 5 now. We're just, we just keep moving along, steaming along. Now we're on Puzzle 5, and I'm very excited about this puzzle because it's, uh, art is something that has always been uh, fascinating and special for Super Dan. I don't know about you guys, but Vincent Van Gogh, one, one of my favorite classic painters, I guess you would say, in the late 1800s. This one was painted in 1888 in... Arlis France and I'm proud to start to put together the 1000 piece uh, I would say coffee house at night because that was what he first called it when he put it on ex exhibition back in 1891 I don't know uh, Super Dan was just a baby at the time bum, bum, bum. <laughs> no I wasn't around <laughs> but, but uh, in 1891 exhibited and then ch and the name later changed to of course what we all know as Cafe Tetis at Night Day. Uh, anyway, Thousand Piece, Clement, Clementoni Puzzle, Italian-based company, family-owned still. I know that it started in 1963. I don't know if they made puzzles back then, but it's been around a long time. And it's, it's interesting to note that a lot of these jigsaw puzzle companies that are family-owned are still around, still doing business, still doing good. You know, it's good business. Um, but it's a beautiful box. They call it a part of the museum collection. And uh, we're gonna put this sucker together and I'm gonna have a fine art piece and I don't have to pay millions and millions of dollars to get it, which is nice. <laughs> um, a few things of note. I think I'm gonna be separating when I separate, when I do the um, sorting, which is very important, the sorting, uh, the borders. Right, sort the borders, sort the yellow, and possibly this. So possibly gonna sort it into three piles: the flat, the flat pieces, the edges, the light yellow pieces, and then the dark pieces, which will be both here and here. And that's how I think we're gonna start it and uh, work our way from that. Um, I already took a quick look in the box. The pieces are small. Um, and sort of like, uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Emerald Bay pieces. So this will probably be pretty challenging. There's no letters in the back, so you're not going to be able to, uh, make these in sections, which is fine. You know, um, I don't think that works for all puzzles or not even most puzzles. I think, uh, you know, those, uh, groupings of letters is just for, uh, a, a minority of puzzles where, uh, the pieces are so similar and the colors are so similar, you know, then you can make an argument for it. Me, I, either way, you know, but this doesn't have the letters in the back, which is fine. Um, so, maybe we should stop uh, chatting and start making. <laughs> uh, quit your talking and start chalking, right? <laughs> Uh, action speaks louder than words. So let's just get let's just get started. We'll break it open, open it up, do the do the you know sort it, and then we'll uh, carry on from there. So let's uh, do with this uh, Brazil uh, de casa de place superdane. puzzle dust. I've never had a puzzle with so much dust before. A Clementoni, I can't believe it, but we're gonna clean it off, start on the flat pieces, and start on some type of detail on the puzzle. I did the best I could with separating the lights from the darks, but there, there was a lot more pieces than I thought. I was kind of in between, so I had to make a guess. So, uh, I think what we'll just do is pick out the lightest and the darkest of the dark and do it that way.
so uh, we got most of the border. <laughs> I think I'm missing two pieces, uh, but it's obviously this is going to be a um, vertical puzzle, just like the box. Just like the box, it's going to be like this. Um, so uh, I'm going to take some time here and see if I can find these flat pieces real quick. It looks like this one should fit, but it does not fit. So there's probably two pieces. So I'm going to cut it here, find the two pieces, come back, and we'll work on some other stuff before we call it, um, call it part one. All right, so uh, I located the two missing flat pieces. One of them I found right away. The other one took some doing, but I did find them. So we got all the border. If you can see that, we got all the border. And uh, right now I'm kind of separating the cloud pieces and the black pieces. So I think that's how we're gonna... Yeah, let me get a wrap puzzle here. There we go. So I think that's how we're gonna start this thing. Is, uh, uh, is the black and the sky. Black and sky. Um, I'm really surprised at how many pieces there are. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a big part of the puzzle, but uh, it does require a lot of pieces. So I think that's where we're gonna begin on the detail. And uh, we'll just see what happens. You know, sometimes I just move around the puzzle um, and uh, we'll go from there. And I will also add this uh, in part one. Okay, so we put the border together. Now we're starting to put in detail. I decided in the beginning to try to do the blue sky and the black. And I'm quickly figuring out that this is indeed not so easy of a puzzle. It is very challenging. There is not a lot of fine detail. So, <laughs> uh, what I end up doing is bouncing around everywhere on the puzzle trying to get things going. It is not a clear puzzle. Uh, so this is very, uh, it's a nice challenge for sure. This puzzle is probably gonna take longer than the other puzzles, but that's okay. Super Dan loves the challenge, and with challenge comes reward. So like I said, I've been jumping around the puzzle trying to get things started because uh, this is this is not an easy puzzle. The detail is not fine at all. Pieces are small. Uh, the fits are somewhat loose, I think, for Clementoni. Um, but then again, I just got done with that wooden puzzle, Rainy Walk, and the pieces just snapped together. So that might be part of it, but still... I also did the White Mountain puzzle, and uh, you know I also did the the Springbok puzzle, and the Eurographics puzzle, and I could tell you that the Clementoni is a little looser fit, but I, it, it's still a, a quality puzzle, and I could still tell if a piece fits or not. So I want to get that out of the way. But let me show you real quick the mess. As I you have. can see puzzles com a complete mess because I'm jumping around everywhere trying to figure out, you know, try to get things started here, there, and everywhere just to start building something, you know. Um, and, you know, we, we have some progress with this part, which is uh, like an archway, like a doorway, corresponds to this right here. We've had some good progress there. We've also started the outline of the edge of the yellow, as you can see here which corresponds to here. Uh, we did some sky, but not too much. Um, and we did some green here, which I believe also corresponds to, th to right here, but I'm not quite sure. So uh, we'll figure that out as it, as it keeps building. 
And that's kind of like where we're at. These pieces are going to go back in the puzzle because I'm really not going to be working on this right now. Uh, this hasn't gone anywhere. So that's going back. Um, the sky is going to stay. And the blacks are going to stay. And possibly I'm going to start moving around up here now. And try to get stuff done. We're at. And uh, I, I want to add one more um, time lap session before I end part one. So we'll do one more and then uh, that'll be the end of part one for the Van Gogh Cafe Teres at night. Night uh, from Clementone and you watch it and enjoy it uh, and subscribe it. Uh. Click the thumbs up, uh, comment down below and all that good stuff. So, uh, we keep going back and forth with the puzzle. Like I'll go work on it a little bit, do something, go work on it a little bit, go do something. <laughs> so I haven't turned on the time lapse. Uh, I was rudely on. interrupted by my computer that just suddenly started talking, but I shut that down. Anyways, so there was no time lapse. I don't, I don't, there, there might be just a, a fewer time lapse with this puzzle. Just because of the way it is, the way it comes together. Um, but there'll be some, but, uh, time lapses will probably be here and there as I fit it in. But, uh, let me show you what, uh, we've you can done. see, we've made great progress over here. I've been working hard over here, which is the archway on the left-hand side of the Cafe Tedis at night. Uh, so we've done a lot of that and we're just working our way around. We're just kind of like jumping here and there. Started working a little bit up in this, this area. And, uh, you know, we're slowly developing it, putting, putting it together. But I've noticed as I start getting pieces together, it's getting easier and easier. It started off really difficult and I was a little worried. But now that I'm starting to, my brain is starting to, well, let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, tell you with you guys looking at me. You know, at, my brain is starting to pick up the nuances of the paint and the color. And that's very important when putting this puzzle together because I'm finding out that Van Gogh um, used brush strokes and, and colors a lot in his works. If you notice Van Gogh's paintings, they pop out with hard brush strokes. That's what he's typically no known for and being a tortured artist too and all that stuff, cutting off his ear, blah, 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 whatever. But uh, unfortunately for him, <laughs> He became famous after the fact. Uh, during the fact, he had a tough life. But, uh, you know, people are, you know, uh, discovered his genius after the fact. Kind of like Super Dan. You know, people are going to discover Super Dan's genius after the fact. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to conclude part one right here. Uh, we're going to start with part two uh, shortly. And we'll see how far we get with the puzzle with part two. Probably ended at part two. But we'll see, you know, we'll see. Uh, so thank you for watching. Subscribe, click the thumbs up, comment down below, and support the channel. And Super Dance Jigsaw Puzzles will be back. Cheers.